This is my champion generator, 2000 watt inverter. I'm getting ready to fix it. It won't start. I did some troubleshooting a few days ago. I can try to find out why. It just does nothing. Nothing at all. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. There's four 10 millimeter bolts on the top. And this handle. And it just comes right off. And this top, you got to take the gas can off. This top, it just snaps off. Gas cap off. Get that out of there. Put the gas cap back on because you got to take the gas. Got to take the gas tank off. And there's three seven millimeter bolts that hold it on. Also, the knob that turns the gas on and off on the front, it has a little Phillips screw in it you need to take off. Pull that out and then you can lift the gas tank up pretty much enough out of the way. But I usually make sure everything's off. I'll take the hose off. It's got one clamp. And then it just comes right off. Move the clamp, pull it off. Shove it over here. Got to take the choke off. Get the little screwdriver. And then a little set of vice grips there. To hold that while I unscrew it. And take this. Big Phillips screw loose and pull it right out of there. And then after that, and once you get the choke loose, there's four Phillips screws right here. When this front cover pulls off of here, see it's got a back on it. I just take it sideways, shove it back through the hole, and that way you got room to get off here. What you need to get off of here, which is a little control called an ignition module. Got two Phillips screws in it. And we'll take those out. Unplug it. Put the wire on it. And it makes it really easy. I have a new one 
out here. I got from Champion. They're about $25 a piece. Plus a little bit of shipping. Seven something if you want priority. So we'll take this old one off of here. Put the new one back on. Right, put the new one on, not back on. And I've had this apart a couple times. There's these two wires that came off. I know where they go. It probably doesn't matter, it's just a switch. And usually, it, you know, always, the switch just hooks two wires together. It don't matter really where they come from or where they end up. Yeah. And there's the black one goes on top and the yellow and green goes on the bottom. So got the part on. Go ahead and plug it in. Goes through that little hole and get back out. And back in. Yeah, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put two of these screws back. I'm going to make sure it runs before I put it all back together. There should be enough gas in the carburetor and in the line so it'll start. And these things Really start easy. Okay, I'll choke it. My hand and pull it. Oh, I gotta turn the engine on. I got to do that. That is the problem. If you check out your generator and your spark plug is good and your coil is good and you still have no spark, that's the problem. And you still have no spark, this is what you need. I happen to have two of these generators. You can probably hear the other one in the background. So what I did was a part swap. I took the coil off the other generator, put it on here. Nothing. Took spark plugs, switched them out. Nothing. So then I got a hold of Champion on their website through the email. And it probably took a couple hours, but they got back to me. And I told him what I did how I checked it and he said if there's still no spark it's probably that ignition module ignition assembly is what they call it so I ordered two of those in case it happens again so that should take care of that all I gotta do is put it back together which only takes a couple of minutes and we'll have two generators in case it gets hot again